3.14159265 How many out from pi can you go? <laughs> it's 3. Point one four one one five one five nine two six five two six five four. Yeah. And then there's a two after that. No, just kidding. I don't know. Okay. Are you ready? I'm going. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, hold on. I just did that. Never mind. Hold on. Hold. Uh. Okay. <laughs> That's I just did a check. Uh, uh, don't don't. Everybody, don't. check your mic. <laughs> <laughs> don't mock me. <laughs> it's not mocking. Okay, I did it. Y- I mean, you can go whenever. <laughs> hey, there's the music. That means it's time for Animal Talk. Some of the best doggone pet people on the planet here to help you with your pets. Like the guy sitting across from me. Hi, I'm Brian, but you can call me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. You like this guy sitting across from me. Uh, my name's Jamie Flanagan. Just making sure everybody has a good time. Brian, he's a, he's an animal behaviorist and a dog trainer, if you can wrap your head around that. <laughs> he's here uh, to, to help America feel better about themselves and their pets. Yep. And then we have uh, this guy over here. Hey. Hi, Matt Fox. I'm What's here. Okay. I made it. <laughs> Hi. Still. Hi, Hi, Sam. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Uh, <laughs> Sam Nork. Sam's Sam Nork. here. Say. <laughs> Sam is amazing. She is. So, uh, but uh, yeah, so we're here to, to help you with your pets. That's the whole idea, the concept, the, the plan. And uh, there's a, a website that uh, collects things, animaltalkradio.com. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's uh, social medias. Uh, they're pretty much all Animal Talk Radio, except for Sam. It has something to do with pizza. No, that's my personal one. Oh, her email. Yeah, no. Yeah, my email. I was emailing people and they didn't ask me about it. Sam so I'm is so rocking. Happy. That's Sam is what rocking it. is my Instagram. Lots and my of Twitter. underscores under that. So <laughs> yeah, Sam, uh, but there's only Sam two. is rocking. But yeah, Sam a underscore is underscore rocking. Yeah, I've had yeah. this she since rocks. sixth grade, so yeah. I never changed it. So yeah, it's so. a she. But she's been rocking in the free world since <laughs> sixth grade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I just say things. I don't really know what they mean ever. Sometimes they're funny. Sometimes they're weird. Relatively always obtuse. You're so a- I was DJing a party earlier. In the tub. In the tub. And uh, it was like an afternoon party at one of those red hat societies. There's about 150 oh, yeah. Yeah. of these like red hats. There was seriously there was six women over 90 because yeah. they were like, who's over 90? And they're like. Okay, the person next to the person. <laughs> if they're over 90, raise your hand. So there were like six people there that were over 90. It was crazy. Dang. So not a young. Well, oh, talk about a day drinking group of old broads. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I were, wish I was there. They were into it, man. I went, I went to, to one of those events and uh, got hammered. Did you wear a red next hat? Day, I woke up. There were like nine red hats in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Way. No way. <laughs> So <laughs> I, I t- Sam t- texted me for something, and I, I texted her back, and and I said, hey, I'm at this thing. And, and one of the women there was actually uh, connected to the school, and, and Sam had won a scholarship that was connected to this woman. And I was like, yeah, it's, you know, Carol's here, and she's one of the head red hat ladies. I go, so you cool. should come. And she goes, well, I'm, I'm just I'm going into class right now. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm going to guess that you don't have your formal Blink-182 <laughs> shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what shirt do you have on? <laughs> Let's see it. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Blink one eighty two. Yeah. There you go. So yep. I just say it's like, a, how do I, how do I know? How do I, <laughs> she's like, you know me so well. <laughs> so it was a little bit more of a formal affair, but uh, we, got, we they were getting their day drink on. It yeah. was crazy. Lots of mimosas or everything. You know? No, I was just hard liquor. <laughs> really? Wait, seriously? <laughs> Should have them on the man cave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The bloody Marys and. Wow. They're I'm not so much into that anymore. I'm more into Mamotrin. <laughs> Mamotrin, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to adult. I said, well, welcome to adulthood. I hope you like Advil. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope you like the taste of ibuprofen. Oh, but uh, helping people with pets is is really what we're all about. We had a fun time at the uh, Rockabilly Chili Cookoff. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got to hug a lot of dogs and taste a lot of chili. And uh, I'm glad you got that right. <laughs> that was I'm glad uh, you didn't mix those didn't two flip, up. Didn't flip that around. <laughs> taste. Oh. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> that would have been a little. Wait, wait. Bit can you say it? Can you say it the other way around? We got to. We got to taste a lot of dogs, dogs and, and hug and a lot of chili. <laughs> <laughs> I would hug chili. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
Good time. It was a very good time. It, yes, was. it was. That was uh, a, a worthwhile uh, event. They uh, they hit their goal. So uh, they were trying to raise. They over. They passed their goal. Passed, and, uh, yes, passed uh, it, yes. They were. They hit well over five thousand dollars. Nice. Yes. So uh, so glad for yeah. that. Good group of people. Yeah, hard working. And mutts. Hard working folks for those for those dogs. Brian, what about you? Anything uh, new and interesting in your world? I'm. You know, I'm just still uh, doing stuff in the house. I'm putting a garage up. Mm. I'm. I'm uh, Renovating a basement. Okay. And this is a house that's two years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I got, I got a laundry list of things that. Yeah. Uh, I don't Nothing know. broken, but you're just. Because the basement is unfinished. Yeah. And you're finishing it up. Right. Turning it into. It's going to be amazing. Workout yeah. space and office space and. Yes. And uh, kid romper room space. Red room. Yeah. Everything. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to have everything there. Right on. Hot, nice it's place to hide in the yeah. summertime. So that's been keeping me busy, and yeah. we've only been there for about a month. Okay. And uh, yeah, just nonstop. That's why, after my Sunday brunch, I fell asleep. I <laughs> 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 didn't go to the chili cooker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were looking for you. Yeah. 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 Didn't want to pick on you about that. Oh uh, yeah. 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 And we did that before the show. <laughs> but it's totally understood. <laughs> oh, I know. yeah. I, if I could have fallen asleep, what did I? I did. I did something. Oh no! It was just you know the brunch and then the, the cook chili cook-off yeah. and then I went home and passed out. So it was the day before. It was the it was that Social Saturday where you had a little distortion. bit of a oh that was Friday. Never that mind. It was a bourbon soaked day for you on Saturday. I think wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, they all are. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding? They all kind of run together. They all kind of <laughs> slosh together. Really, if you if you think about it. Very googly moogly. Okay, so uh, Samantha, what about you? Anything new and cool and groovy in your world? Nothing. No. No. Sorry, no. I was recording an Instagram video for the, the Instagram. Ah. Oh. Yeah. So Sam, Sam is on it with the social medias. She's like doing a great job. Got kind some of. guests on the horizon. She's booking. Yes. So keep uh, follow the Instagram and follow the Twitter. Uh, Animal They're Talk both Radio. Animal Talk Radio. Yeah. And uh, you'll find out who the guests are that are on the horizon that are are coming up. And uh, so yeah. So Matt, what about you? Anything new and groovy? New you got and any groovy. adventures on the uh, horizon? I got a couple of adventures happening this weekend. I get what to see my uh, youngest kid. Oh. It's been uh, about a month and a half since I saw my youngest daughter. Oh. Where's she at? She's at Central prison? Michigan. Yeah, prison. <laughs> <laughs> prison. <laughs> Orange is the new black type stuff. You know? <laughs> right on. But uh, yeah, picking her up from school, and then we're heading off to uh, ride some roller coasters in the cold. Fire Let's up chips. But yeah, going to. Can I come? Put some hands up and ride some roller coasters. So yeah. <laughs> That's this weekend. Okay. Do you you want to go? No, I, I'm going to gonna stay off the roller coasters. Yeah, I just want I just want like yeah. a funnel cake and like <laughs> and an elf in here. Yeah. yeah, you don't and, do and you don't do roller coasters. Dog. Nope. Why I'm not? too sca scared of heights. Uh, there was one time this when I was in Texas at Six Flags. There was this lady who fell off the Texas Giant. Ever yeah. since then, I was like, yeah. nope. I was like, see, nah. you need to go with the right people. No, see. if I die, like I don't care who I'm with. If I die, like then we'll be sad. You'll be fine. No, I, no, you I'm gonna be dead. You, <laughs> you won't even know. Yeah, it. you yeah. feel yourself falling. Like yeah, if you, but how long could it last? Out you have no it. memory yeah. of it because you're dead. I mean, if like <laughs> if I was like in there with Tom Cruise, I think it would be okay. But like everybody else, I don't know. Chris Pratt, take Chris me Pratt, away. yeah, Chris Pratt. Oh, yeah. yeah sorry, guys. <laughs> no. Next time, next time, I'm gonna drag you to Cedar Point. No, no, my parents already tried. I, I cried. Uh. I, I literally cry. You will cry all day long. We're taking you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I didn't even. I they dragged me to Disney World in fifth grade. I they made me ride Space Mountain. My mom's like, "This is a weenie ride." No, it was not. God, and it was so in the weird. dark, and I hated it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Don't that, make fun of me. I don't that like was, it. That was Sam checking her mic. <laughs> 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 That's funny. <laughs> you gonna you make it, Sam? Sir, blues from the underground. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm hitting the wrong button. Now. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah. Well, that leads us into uh, what we had lined up next, which was uh, not about roller coasters. Something right? of a something of an email. It's a little dear animal talk. Sir, blues from the underground. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, but here's a question. Mm -hmm. uh, so they, they we rescued an Australian Shepherd mix a few months ago, and we're told that she's great with kids. She isn't aggressive, and she likes kids, but she's also great at chasing the kids. Mm -hmm. I can't make kids not be kids. They run, they jump, they do kid stuff. And Chester runs and jumps right on them and after them and around them and through them. Uh, not aggressively, but still 
lots of contact. Um, what do I do? Well, you know, uh, every breed of dog mm -hmm. arose from some need. You know, they're they're all bred for certain reasons. Right? So this, yeah, this is an Australian Shepherd it's mix. A, a shep uh, Australian Shepherd. <laughs> they <laughs> they heard a, things. It's okay, a, it's a big dog, is they, it not? Uh, it's not a big dog. Dog. No, it's kind of a smaller, yeah, twenty five pounds or okay. something. Okay, okay. And so was, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. But herding, you yeah. know, so anything that runs, right? You know, they kind of feel the obligation. This deep, um, almost uh, on a DNA level. Yeah. Because that's what they've been bred to do. Yeah. They'll just instinctively chase kids. <laughs> ducks, whatever, uh, whatever's running around. So um, to try to teach the dog not to do that, mm -hmm. man, mm -hmm. that's, that's asking a lot of the dog. That, yeah. uh, so when you you know when you try to take that out of the dog's behavior repertoire, you're you're, you're you'll probably end up doing more harm than good. So mm -hmm. uh, something like this, I would um, I would uh, try to keep the the dog from you know from interacting with you know when the kids are out in the yard running around. And then maybe give the dog uh, another job. So when the kids are out, you start throwing a ball for them. So the dog starts associating it with something different. Hmm. Um, but if you're trying to, you know, you, you really can't correct your way out of that because, you know, it's, it's a shepherd. It's a right. Australian shepherd. So it, it's, uh, it's not going to be an easy task to try to just stop the dog from doing what it was born to do. Hmm. Okay. So don't, as long as there's no uh, biting and nipping going on. Let it be. Let it be. Yeah. Kids will figure it out. Yeah. And the, the kids are big, small. The kids are going to grow. The dog's going to kind of stay the same, won't they? Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, so fine. hopefully, possibly, get over it. <laughs> so, you know, that, uh, uh, yeah. that brings me to um, uh, the point of, um, you know, when you're, when you're looking for a dog, when you're in the market for a dog, yes. you really should consider your lifestyle, who's in the house, mm -hmm. Uh, what you're going to be doing the next few years, what kind of environment you you have. Mm -hmm. Are you an apartment dweller? Do you live on a ranch somewhere? Right. Th that all will dictate what type of dog you should uh, you should probably get. You know, uh, we're looking at the non-sporting breeds when mm. we're talking about the um, uh, <laughs> the English sheepdog or uh, uh, English bulldogs. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, those dogs are kind of they're they're, they're ki a non-sporting dog w is is a type of dog that doesn't have a, all those proclivities to you know to chase things and mm -hmm. and to hunt and that sort Very of thing so kind of a docile dog yeah, yeah yeah but um uh you know if, if you're going to be you know in an apartment cooped up in a small area yeah you don't want something like a, an australian cattle dog or <laughs> a, a sight hound of some kind sure. you know dogs that need to range and need to right. to really um uh let out a lot of energy so y yeah you want to you really pay attention to that you know are there going to be a lot of kids running around are there going to be you know, is it just going to be adults, older folks? You, you have to, uh, um, you know, you have to take that into consideration. Hmm. Wasn't there a book called The Right Dog for You? Is that a book? The Right Dog for You. Is well, that, I thought that was, a, I thought that was a, a book. Uh, oh, there's a breed selector on the AKC website. What breed of dog yeah. should I get? <laughs> right there you go. So, um, yeah, there are a few of those on the Internet. Yeah. Um, so it's an app now. So it's better. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! I tried. I had somebody. I won some uh, Red Wings tickets. You and, did. Uh, I did. And, Are you going? Uh, Wait. Yeah. What show? What? What? What show? <laughs> like what? The ice show. <laughs> It's they, which, they, 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 it's Snoopy versus the Red Baron. Which day and who are they against? <laughs> God, you guys, I don't like sports. Sports ball. Um, sports puck. Yeah. Sports puck. What <laughs> the puck? Uh, yeah, no, it was, uh, it's, uh, uh, in, no, it's in November and it's uh, St. Louis. Oh, okay, cool. Well, no, the there's blues. one on my birthday and it's the Los Angeles Kings and like uh, Will Wheaton is like obsessed with them. So I'm like, uh, I'm going to go. So and you're obsessed with Will Wheaton? Yes. So, so I'm going to go. There yeah. you go. Yeah, so yeah, you'll sorry. go? Just yeah, I'll probably just go. Yeah, I mean, I went last year. And that way you can tweet about it and he might like your tweet? Yeah, no. We talk. Hey, um, but he won't be on the show. No. <laughs> Being hey, a poop hey, head about can, it. Uh, His wife will, can, but he won't. Can you guys, can you guys multitask? Yes. Yeah. Okay, go, go to the Purina. Well, uh, Purina has a, a dog breed selector. Yeah. We'll, we'll, go, we'll each go through this quiz. All right. Oh, see what yeah. the perfect dog is for us. Oh, okay. This sounds fun. Yeah. All right. Can, when totally it comes to exercising with which your do dog, you prefer? which do you prefer? Sign up today. Uh, so Purina.com. Uh, oh, do you want me to take it on my phone? Me take it too? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. a Purina dog breed selector. Okay. 
Um, How do you spell? Oh, never mind. P U R I N A. I got it. All right. Uh, so yeah, when it comes to exercising with your dog, which do you prefer? Uh, just needs of a short daily walk or backyard play. Uh, only needs indoor playtime. Uh, will go on long walks or runs with me daily. Um, I don't run, so I'm gonna so go with the first one. Short play. How protective would your ideal dog be? Oh, hmm. what ferociously. Qualities. Is ferociously a, a thing? What qualities um, would your ideal dog have? Yeah. Being a companion, companion, hanging out with children, hanging out with other pets, Is it, can you do interacting oh, with strangers, protection, oh. sporting or hunting, training. Oh. Okay. I already did that one. Oh, I got young. I have young nephews, so hanging out with children would have to be one of those. Sure. Yeah. I just clicked it because. Oh, I got my match. Because Sam, Sam's about the size of a, a children. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I children. love kids. Did you guys all get a match? Oh, I haven't. I'm Almost. still fumbling yeah. through. Protect. How you got protective. a match, Sam? How protective would your ideal dog be? Um. Um. Will protect me from strangers. Well, that takes all the fun Barking out of on it. occasion is okay for me. So, okay, so we're going through the Purina dog breed selector. All right, yeah. Wait, oh, you can select more than one. Yeah. How okay. vocal would you like your dog to be? Relatively quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Is there is there an absolutely quiet button on there? How much shedding, shedding? would you tolerate? Some. Uh, no, no, <laughs> minimal. Wait, you can select more than one? So when it comes to that, what environment would your dog's coat be ideal for? We're in Michigan. Cold weather climates. Yeah. Oh, I got one. How often do you groom your dog? Wait a minute. I didn't get those questions. Yeah, I didn't get those either because it just it just gave me one after I answered. Oh, How often what? do you plan to groom your dog? Maybe it's going maybe it's going through some uh, selection tree where it's, some of the questions differ based on how, yeah. right, right, right. how your answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got that little uh, vent in your kitchen that sucks up uh, everything. Yeah. You just open that up, and the central vac just pulls it pulls it away. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah. So I got my dog. I got. got <laughs> Wait, what'd you get? Greyhound. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Did you? Oh, sorry. I just, I just, I just screamed. So uh, I had, I, I've had whippets. You I just had story. the machine yeah. tell me I don't deserve a dog. <laughs> wait, wait, are All you right. serious? Sorry, no results are match. You you no serious? match for your criteria. Oh, wow. Start over. You're kidding, right? <laughs> I poop you not. No. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> no soup for you. Uh, you can't have it. It's dog. because you're a cat person. I'm no cat. dog. I'm, one year. They yeah. know. I, they know I'm a cat guy. Oh my god. What did you say to those answers? <laughs> no barking. What, what no shedding. Uh, I got oh a laushin. A Lao Chin? A Lao Chin? Really? Yeah. yeah. That's, wasn't that that's the kind uh, of a rare breed? I don't wasn't that the werewolf from like Van Helsing or something? I <laughs> I'll have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lao Chin would be my ideal match based on my answers. All right, cute puppy. Wow, Jamie. What? The Van Helsing thing? <laughs> no, it's just. Oh, that I can't have a dog. You broke can't the have internet. a dog. No, I know. <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things. This is why we should do BuzzFeed because they'll give you an answer no matter what. <laughs> ah, yeah. that's actually uh, I'm gonna show that to my wife because she wants a dog that's kind of like this size. So, oh, hmm. maybe oh. talked about that. Oh. That just helped you. So, Jamie, the internet just internet just told you you don't deserve a dog. It did. <laughs> it did. I'm kind of <laughs> actually a, a little hurt. <laughs> 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 yeah, but Colleen would probably have a different set of answers, and they would probably let Colleen have a dog. Yeah, <laughs> have her take it. And Jamie, then come back. Jamie, yeah, you're not allowed. But Colleen, okay. Okay. We'll give. We'll give. <laughs> or it maybe they'll be like, "Oh, you live in a house with Jamie? No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. The the dog police are gonna come over and <laughs> take him away. It'll be very sad. Uh -huh. CPS? No DPS. <laughs> <laughs> the dog dog police service is that what you're okay? Like. I, I would hope you say the dog police. Yeah. Is, right. Yeah. Wait, what else would it be? Yeah. I don't know. Detroit Public Schools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. I yeah. just <laughs> the camera. Everybody's probably like, "What the hell is going on?" Well, all okay. right. Well, all right. So here's a, a family that brought a, a puppy into the mix, and they they had a they had a question. Did they take the quiz? Uh, about um, <laughs> I don't think they I don't think they took the I don't think they took the quiz. Uh, so here we go, Dear Animal Talk. What's this, fan mail from a flounder? And 
their question is uh, about the the new puppy. My brother has a nine week old puppy. Is that too young for no nine weeks? All nine right, so we have a, a nine week old puppy, and our five and a half year old golden retriever was terrified of the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, so uh, about three years ago, a huge dog attacked our golden, and she's skittish around other dogs sometimes. Uh, is this why she's so afraid of the puppy? Probably. You know, dogs have been dealing with other dogs for a very, very long time. Since dogs began. Yeah. So when, mm-hmm. when a dog doesn't like other dogs, it's okay. usually a result of some... Uh, Even though it's a job. wimpy little puppy, which could probably yeah. eat in two nibbles. Yeah. With dogs, it's, it's funny. The, the size yeah. of... What are, they, uh, what are they? What's the old saying? It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. Oh, okay. And um, so, yeah, dogs respond more to you know <laughs> body language and bravado than they do to uh, you know sheer size. And uh, so, the dog was probably exposed. That, that one exposure, where it was something negative, could have been all it took for the dog to be frightened of other dogs. But he will get used to the puppy. Okay, I guarantee you. All mm-hmm. right. So I would just let kind of let it go, let yeah. the dog's fears play out, and and uh, you'll see that uh, the puppy may end up ruling the roost. Yeah, maybe. Oh, be best um, friends, or maybe. they, or yeah, or they could find a different pecking order once they uh, reach maturity. Yeah, they'll they'll end up being best friends. Yeah. So I did the uh, I did the the dog breed selector again. Yeah. For the AKC dog selector. Oh. Look what look what I came up with. What'd you get? This isn't right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the 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 standard poodle well, with the sta- crazy haircut yeah, with stand- the standard poodle. <laughs> Poodle? You, you <laughs> look like a standard poodle kind of guy. Uh, wh- I can see you walking you down the street with your leash. Sometimes I just your finely like to coiffed feel, hair. I like to feel elegant. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> coiffed? Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, I was going to say something. Nicely manicured face. What were you, what were you thinking, Sam? Nothing. Sam? Just answer the question. <laughs> no. <laughs> what word did you think I said, Sam? <laughs> Nothing. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the air. I could it's do the show without up. all you fools. Uh, it would be so much better, too. Wow. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just... I'll sh- I just looked. Did up you the take a picture of the the and send it to Mary? No, I'm not saving anything it? to her. She's probably listening. But okay, uh, yeah, they're still they're a very rare breed, as you had said. Yeah, you know, uh, a, a Laotian puppy still costs between five to eight thousand dollars. Okay, so um, they almost, it is. Yeah, so they are almost <laughs> virtually extinct, which is why they still cost so much. Yeah. Oh. So. You know, um, anybody who uh, calls the show, I c- we have uh, two t- <laughs> <laughs> tickets to the. Chili cook off that did not oh. happen last week. <laughs> that happened last week. Yeah, yeah I know. So that's why I said did not didn't happen. Didn't happen for Brian. Did not happen last week. Like, you know, so I left, you guys I left aren't my fun. Here. <laughs> you left your tickets here. Yes, but it was happening in the building you own, <laughs> so I think you could get in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe. yeah. I couldn't go. Don't call it a comeback. So, uh, mad cow disease. Can you believe it? Mad cow disease is making a comeback. It is, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I thought it was. Wow, uh, I've been waiting so long for this. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, what is what is the deal with mad cow disease? There have been there have been two um, there have been two incidents of mad cow disease that that I've read about. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Um. Now I, I, I didn't verify this story. Okay. Uh, okay. Did you find it off like? Hold on. A tabloid. No, hold on. Okay, a. Uh, okay, here it is. Hunter who died of rare disorder might have eaten squirrel brains. Okay. <laughs> Oh, God. In New York, a 61-year-old who experienced a severe cognitive decline before his death may have had squirrel brains to blame. Mm. Um, A report in 2015 death in Rochester, New York, finds that he might have suffered from a variant of uh, some long-named disease, a rare brain condition commonly referred to as mad cow disease. Hmm. It's called Creutzfeldt-Jacob disease. Okay. And it's it's mad cow disease. And I've read... um, uh, there was a, a an, another incident where another animal was found. It wasn't uh, a domesticated animal or a food animal like a, a cow, but it was a, um, 
I believe it was, uh, you know, because hunting season is upon us. Yeah. And uh, I think it was somebody who shot a, uh, a white-tailed deer in, in Ohio and um, had uh, mad cow disease. So what? Is it coming back? I hope not. <laughs> Same. That's how you can tell. That's how that if a cow sounds like that, <laughs> don't eat it. So that's that's your that's. But your what test. if the cow's already dead and like it's in the store and stuff? And you can't hear it laugh. Yeah, and you can't hear it laugh. <laughs> Does it taste funny? I don't know. You know, <laughs> in the tub. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I <laughs> just I love the mad cow sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find it. I had to, I had to <laughs> find it. It's uh, <laughs> there too, <laughs> without a doubt. Oh, Samantha. Uh, uh, why am I the way that I am? I don't know. I don't know. So, um, here's a unique breed. Somebody had a question uh, about a young, but uh, a unique breed. We recently got a four-month-old Havanese puppy mm-hmm. from a pet store. Uh, it's very uh, it's very afraid of people, especially my husband. She barks at him constantly, and then when we're on the streets, if someone stops to pet her, uh, she pulls away and tries to hide behind me. How can I help her become comfortable with new people and uh, with my husband? Well, you know, uh, socialization at this age is yeah. very very important. Four month. Yep. Yeah. Is that a- actually, the window. The, yeah. Well, the the first year you should be socializing your dog, but yeah. Uh, under six months of age, yeah. you, you really want to socialize. A, a four-month-old puppy who's afraid of people is not a good sign. Okay. Sometimes that fear, oftentimes that fear will turn into aggression later on All right. when the dog matures. So you need to get the dog socialized, and you need to make a pleasant experience out of it. Okay. okay. So uh, when a dog experiences something, or a person for that matter, um, you tend to respond to the strongest stimulus in the environment. Mm. So if the strongest stimulus is you're afraid, you're being afraid, then you're going to remember that as a fearful experience. Okay. If the strongest experience was, say you were afraid of something, and then somebody came by and just gave you $100,000, you may take from that experience that it was actually good. Something You, know, you see, so right. the strongest uh, stimulus is going to dictate how you perceive that situation. So when you take your dog out, you want to have leverage. So when you take your dog out for a walk, um, it'd, it'd be really nice and very convenient for training if the dog was hungry. And Ooh. then when the dog encounters a stranger, you offer the dog a treat that he doesn't normally get. All right. If the dog doesn't take the treat, you don't have enough leverage on him. Mm. Because if he doesn't take the treat, then he's going to still be afraid. If he's still afraid, then that's what he takes away from the experience. You get it? So mm-hmm. you, you want to uh, try to get that leverage. So I would suggest that you would u- use something like hot dogs or something that the dog doesn't normally, you know, you wouldn't normally give him. So it's just a very special little reward when he's out and about and meeting people. Okay. And then the dog's going to start associating people with something very, very good, and uh, and then you, you can you can solve it. At this age, it's very the dog's very malleable, and you'll be able to solve it pretty quickly. But if you let it go... By the time the dog is a year old, then it could be it could be really bad. It could what be a sticky problem. What if you snuck the treat to the <laughs> snuck the treat to the stranger, and then the stranger gave the dog a treat? Hey. Well, you <laughs> could do that, but you know, putting a hot dog in a stranger's hand <laughs> could could <laughs> be perceived. It could trigger someone, Sam. That could be that, that could be a trigger. trigger. I'm triggered. That, that could be triggering. Yeah. That could be <laughs> triggered. Is that a? Yeah. So what was the dog that uh, you came up with in the... Uh, Low Chen. Low Chen. Yeah. So the Havanese um, looked actually kind of similar to that. Really? It was that they're long, right? They, the they're the little dogs. puppy, yep. the, yeah. the long hair. So the Havanese yep. might be a, a option B I, option B for you. Uh, do you know where the Havanese come from? Uh, where they where or? they hail I, from? I don't know. Hail, hail. How about you, Brian? Uh, Havana? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is that a real place? Havana? Yeah. That's uh, Brian. That's no. uh, that's some great uh, deduction, but probably one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. <laughs> but oh, uh, my God. <laughs> um, actually, yes, they are the only dog native to Cuba. Are they? They are. They are native Cubans. 
Uh, they come with a little wrapper <laughs> on them. Uh, so. Okay. okay. Our, our, that song, song is so play iconic. The, play the song again. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do my impression of Sam singing the song. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ready? Here we go. Here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just mean. <laughs> if Sam was drinking something, she would have spit it all over the studio. Yeah. Oh. Hey, Sam. She didn't even scream. You, you guys. Hey, uh, Sam. Hey, what? Hi. Oh, I thought, yeah, I thought you were going to say something. I was like, yeah, hey, yeah. what? So, I yeah, they're... Uh, that's <laughs> so Havanese, uh, the the only breed native to, to Cuba. They're cheerful. Uh, they're very sociable. They're vivacious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they're according very to the AKC. anti-capitalism. These uh, <laughs> 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 so uh, yeah, but the the coat would take uh, you know they have that long coat. So yeah. it, it takes it takes some care. Mm-hmm. But uh, if That's you like the, I can do a monthly that. grooming. I'd be okay with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's about how often I do myself, so yeah, sure. <laughs> Wait, what? You manscape? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, we here? did the waxing one time, and that was it. Never again. That was this is a not night. a good look for me. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is not the time to be talking about this. <laughs> it looks so big. It's the exact. <laughs> it's the exact time. Anyway, um, wow. Okay, <laughs> that stings. <laughs> so there you go, uh, Matt. You have right. a you have this a plan. Is an animal talk. Plan this B. is like <laughs> mad <laughs> ramblings. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Animals talking. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. But uh, here's here's another one coming coming down the line um, about a three year old. Right. We have a three year old Beagle Basset Hound mix, and beagles. we adopted yeah. her. Uh, it's another female. I love beagles. We adopted her. About a year ago, she suffers from separation anxiety, and we have her on Prozac. I tried to crate her, but she nearly destroyed her teeth in the crate trying to get out. Mm -hmm. Uh, She slowly becomes comfortable in the crate, and I found leaving a worn shirt in there helps keep her quiet. But nonetheless, she barks like mad when we depart. Uh, Do you have any ideas on how to help her? This is actually a really tough one. Separation yeah. anxiety is one of the toughest things to solve. Wow. Okay. Why is that? It, it because um, you know I kind of touched on this last week when um, when you're trying to get a dog over a phobia, mm-hmm. if you don't solve it in one lesson, mm-hmm. the fear is actually reinforced. Oh. So okay. again, uh, getting back to, they take away uh, the you know the kind of the last feeling they had from a situation. Sure. So if if you conquer it. Then you know you could uh, you could be done with it, but if you just have to leave your dog in the crate, mm. you know you're in a situation where you may you know get the dog used to being in a crate, then all of a sudden you have to leave the house, and then the dog you know gets fearful again. Right. <clears throat> I would suggest. W- was that I didn't catch? Was it w- when the it's dog is on Prozac? Does it does it still try to chew out of the? Yeah, crate? yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a bad one. Yeah, so three year old Beagle Bassett hound mix so. Beagles are, are chewers. Be, you, know, you leave a shoe out, and it's lunchtime for a beagle, right? Yeah, That's, but they're, they're so kinda, cute. Yeah, oh, for sure. And they're also barkers, too. Yes, oh, my gosh. Are. Yeah. Bark I, love, is, I love a beagle bark. And it's really legendary. <laughs> but um, I would spend a lot of time putting that dog in the crate and then taking him back out. But so When um, you're there and not when, you're, when you're leaving. When you're there, yeah. So when you say, for instance, you're watching TV. Crawl in there with them. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Jamie. That was that was <laughs> the sh- that was the <laughs> shut up, Jamie. <laughs> no, so, uh, but uh, okay. So you're watching TV. Every time mm-hmm. a commercial comes on, take the puppy, the dog, throw him in the crate for two seconds, three seconds. Give him a treat. Take him back out. Then they're gonna hate commercials. <laughs> they're gonna hate commercials. <laughs> they're gonna. They, can't we just TiVo shit? Come on, what's going on? <laughs> but you're, you're gonna desensitize the dog. You're gonna just keep flooding them with that experience until, you know, hopefully the dog will get over that fear. Yeah. What if you're watching Netflix? There are no commercials. It is. <laughs> in between episodes. Just right? Pause it once in a while, man. Okay. <laughs> Figure it out, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but would a dog like break their own teeth off on a on a kennel oh, with yeah. it? Oh, yeah, they would. Dogs have uh, self mutilated. They break their teeth. They'll break their nails. Oh, okay, you figured they wouldn't. Uh... Oh, some people have come uh, come home to it looks like a crime scene. Oh, okay. Where there's there's blood and severed oh, limbs yeah, that's, everywhere. That's me with my dog. We, they broke through a door the yeah. other day when we oh. yeah because we leave them home alone. They get 
they get anxious. So yeah. they broke a whole door. So they chewed through the door. Typically, if you so. can get the dog used to being in the crate for a few minutes, sure, you they can handle longer periods. It's that initial shock, shock of being thrown in there. Then once the dog gets used to that, then you can uh, you know put them in the crate, leave the room, come right back, and let them back out. So the the dog knows that you're always going to come back. You're always going to come back and let them mm-hmm. out. Uh, but it's it's gonna take a little while. Three years old, it could it could take you you know mm-hmm. weeks mm. to to solve it. So this is a, another female dog. The question was about another female dog. Uh, where are you at with uh, with dogs, boys or girl dogs? Uh, what's your, what's been your experience? Uh, is it better to get a boy? Is it better to get a girl? What have you found? Well, because I training, have a theory for training. Yeah, you get a, a a female that's intact. Okay, they're either going through their heat cycle, about to go in their heat cycle. Yeah. Thinking about their last heat cycle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, an intact male is either, you know, chasing females. Right, right. About to chase a female. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about the last female. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, when you get them, once you get them uh, uh, neutered or spayed. Right, right. Um, it really doesn't matter. But I do prefer females. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. It just, it just um, and you know what? Uh, yes, you know, various people, you get different answers and sure. different reasons for the answers. But sure. It's just a personal preference. All right. Yeah. So Matthew, what about you? Where, where, what have your dogs have I've been over the years? I, I've had a female labs. Okay. I've had uh, uh, adult male labs as well. Okay. A black lab and a chocolate lab. The chocolate lab was very loyal, very intelligent. The uh, female black lab, she was extremely obedient. So, you know, either one, were, I don't mind either one. Okay. I really don't. I do like the male dog because he would stay right by me the entire time. Ah. You know, you pet him. You, when you say, hey, let's go, he'd say, okay, I don't care where we're going as long as I'm with you. Mm-hmm. All right. That was him. What about you, Sam? Are your, what are your boys, uh, your dogs, boys or girls? Well, I have a boy and a girl right now. But oh, okay. I, I, prefer, I guess I prefer boys. Okay. Uh, in case I fall in love with them, you know. No, just so kidding. it's not too weird. <laughs> yeah, so it's not too weird. It's only kind of weird. Yeah. No, just kidding. I don't know why. I've just always, like, my cat was a male, and I've uh, I've just been kind of, like, ever since then, I'm just kind of, like. So, yeah. So, Colleen has uh, Colleen has a theory, uh, and, and it's, it's I, I agree with her, that uh, girl dogs uh, seem to seem to make better pets. And, again, everything can everything can change. Everything can be different. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she, she found the female dogs to be better dogs. But cats, when you're going with cats, the girls are just bitches. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to get a boy. You got to get a boy cat. Mm-hmm. It's got to be a boy cat. And uh, yeah, I've, yeah. I've, I've found that too. That I've had more trouble with more female cats ever than 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 boy cats. Uh, I th- I think I'd have to agree with that. Yeah. With, with regard to cats. So cats, you'd get, definitely go with a boy. Yeah. I got lucky in that arena then because honey cat, pot. Yeah, honey pot's a female. Yeah. So I got lucky in that arena. But Honey you know pot's what? nice. I'll, I'll, you'd have just as many people saying one or the other. Sure. You yeah. know, oh, yeah. uh, it's 50 50, right? 50 yeah. 50. <laughs> <laughs> had had so boy cats too, and they were cool. They were fine. Matt and I, we, we DJ weddings and parties and stuff. And uh, Natalie, who books us, yes. right? She used to have a cat like Did year, years ago. All right. It was the most mean, <laughs> vile. <laughs> <laughs> heinous and you know most cats like aren't super social they'll run in it generally and, you know my cat is very social percy yeah. you mm-hmm. people come in percy's like hey where's the party and <laughs> who's gonna open the door so i can run out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that's a true statement actually and then, yeah. but he like but he just hangs out and then he's he's like wait everybody's inside and then he comes back in to play with all the people um but a lot of cats <laughs> run and hide but this cat it was i think it was meaner than the rabbit and in, in the whole monty python and the holy grail it is like it, it would come out just to bite at you and swat at you. And, you know, you get scratched by a cat. You know, yeah. it gets oh, that yeah. bump it and everything. Yeah. Yeah. This cat came out and, like, went after you. It wasn't, like, cat attack. That's really unsettling. Like, have you, have you ever seen a cat fight? Like, two, oh. like feral yeah. cats yeah. In, in a neighborhood? Yeah. And you hear that? It's, like, one of the, it's, it's unsettling. Yeah. It's, like, dude, dude your cat just cut me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, it would come out, and it would just like it would like slash at your leg or slash at your arm. It would get up on the couch to be able to hit you in the arm on your open sleeve. You're like, what the? It just a mean, <laughs> vile. That was the worst cat. She, she loved that thing, and she. But the thing is, I figured it out, right? She had always she would dress up the cat, but she would put like a scrunchie on. She would have like she had a, a million different scrunchies, <laughs> and she, the cat would have it's. I go if I had a scrunchie choking me out every day too, I'd probably be pretty pissed <laughs> off. And put a scrunchie <laughs> around its neck. Want to want to share that wealth with everybody? So <laughs> so it looked like it was dressed as little Lord Fauntleroy. Yes. 
I think I'd be a little cheesed off too if that was my life. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all. F my life. That was that. Well, that kind of was my life. You see kids of me and pictures of me as a kid. I was cute as hell. Were you? <laughs> oh no. my god! Yeah. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> it took a it took a turn for the it took a turn for the worse. That's for sure. <laughs> No. Do you have the picture of you and that zebra, that fake zebra? No, I don't. I gotta, uh, I gotta find that. I got, but I got me in the Polish dancing outfit. <laughs> of course you do. Have you seen? Have you seen that? Wait, wait. I haven't no? seen that. Haven't. Yeah, you had to have seen <laughs> that. Who me? Yeah, Sam. I know. I've shown that to you. We found out. Uh, didn't no, you, you find haven't. some pictures of uh, the beginnings of Animal Talk back in the day? Was that uh, was that you that posted those, Jamie? Um, or, or was that you, Brian, that you found some pictures, uh, old pictures of everything? Um, did you? You posted yeah, yeah. an old picture of I, us. I found yeah. some old pictures. Yeah. yeah, you did. Yeah, I was like skinny and good looking. <laughs> Whatever happened? <laughs> Something went awry there. That is for sure. That's funny. Life happened, Jamie. That is because, it. as you said. Wait, let me see. Oh, that's you. That's me. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Oh come on! <laughs> so wow, my traditional Polish. He's not gonna R- me. What's up? Wait, how old? How old nice are you? Dress. Oh, you're know. the guy in the pants. Yeah. Oh, okay, just making sure. Wait, how old are you in the picture? <laughs> I don't know. Just guess. You were you were a cute little girl, yeah, yeah. Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's in your Polish outfit, huh? Oh my goodness! That's not you. It is. That is totally me. Yeah. That's not you. I see it a little bit, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's there. So there you go. So that's uh, you have uh, shown me that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah. Well, show it to everyone else. There's on the like, yeah. I'll put it. I'll put it up on the animal. Oh talk. yeah. Can you I'll show? Can it you out. send it to me? I'll uh, tweet it. All right. So here's a. But here's a another. <laughs> another. <laughs> let's uh, get off pictures of me as a kid, shall we? Um. Oh. Oh no! I didn't mean it like that. No. Okay. What? No, I don't. Let's just I don't even let's just talk about let's just talk about whatever you know. Okay, right on. Yeah. So let's just talk about whatever. Yeah, whatever. This isn't, you know. But I, I got another question for you, Brian. Mm-hmm. Uh, puppy having accidents. It's puppy day. It's puppy day with the questions. Uh, my puppy has accidents. Air quotes. Uh, in the same exact spot in my house. Yeah. <laughs> the one playing saxophone. That's me. <laughs> That's nice. You used to play the saxophone. Oh. <laughs> Wow. Is that yeah. careless whispers you're jamming <laughs> there? <laughs> I think I was playing, yeah, maybe. Oh, I know what I was playing. I was playing baritone sax, so that means I was playing um, Hungry Heart. Oh, nice. wow. Because there's a baritone sax in it. Right. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, all right, I got off track here. Sorry, all right, I'm my sorry. puppy has accidents in the exact same spot in my house. What can I do to prevent her from using the hallway yeah, 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 as yeah. his personal uh, porta potty? <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the that uh, was another one of my attempts at a goatee there. Too. Was it, was Wait, let a, me see. I'm sorry, dog or cat? It's a it's a dog, puppy. So if it's a puppy. The puppy is going in the same place Ow. every yeah, time. Yeah, every time. That means he's uh, it's becoming a habit. Yeah, and that means there's probably a smell that he's attracted to right there. So you got to uh, you got to get that cleaned up. You know, with uh, nature's miracle, some kind of enzyme mm. cleaner, not uh, anything. Ammonia based or even bleach or anything, you need to get a uh, um, an enzyme based cleaner to, uh, and and then you have to keep a, a very close eye on the dog, and you have to make sure that if he's going to the same places, places he's probably going at the same time. Make sure he's outside at those times. Nice. <laughs> so you remember these, right? Oh yeah. I have that picture. Yeah. Or, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that, those are the ones I was referring to. So yeah, that's, that's them. Yeah, nice pants, dude. There's uh, <laughs> they're just Levi's. <laughs> <laughs> you wear them so well, man. I do. <laughs> I'm wearing the same damn pants. <laughs> All right, I actually, no, they're probably about four inches. They're probably what's f- up, stud? <laughs> four inch waist <laughs> sides bigger. Wow. Wow. That's early dog stuff. There. That's early dog stuff. Oh boy. Oh, so um, I need a bad animal joke. Bad, <laughs> mad, cow joke. Don't tell us what it's about. <laughs> Funny jokes. Jo- what? Okay. Uh, excuse me. What were you gonna <laughs> They're say? They're gonna be about pigeons. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, so uh, Brian, mm. how are you? How are you doing? Good. Okay. Oh, I have a bad animal joke. Do you have a bad animal yeah. joke? It's the one I told you last. Was so, that last week? Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
Uh, there's there's one more uh, behavior question here I wanted to get to before we stick a pin in this one. Uh, my dog has a big bed in the kitchen, but instead of using it, she lies under the glass co- glass top coffee table while we watch TV or under the desk when I work. Uh, the table is full of fur and nose prints, uh, and my legs cramp up because there's no room under my desk when they're there. Uh, I, I love my dog, love her being around, but how do I get her to use uh, the big bed that we got for her? Put the bed under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no room for And then you go work at the coffee table. Yeah, yeah. And if she comes over there, you move back to the desk. Um, yeah, what you can do, you can you can train the dog to uh, to lay in the bed, but it helps if you have a little bit of a obedience um, background with the pet or a little bit of training. So if you know the, there's uh, an exercise called down for the dog to lie down, right? Okay. Um, sit, heal. You have these various basic obedience commands. Once you you teach the dog that, then you can take the dog over to the bed, tell her down, have her lie down in the bed, and then give her a treat for that. And then if she goes and lies down under the the uh, the desk, you tell her no, uh, gently, firmly. Right. And then you you uh, take her back over the bed, down. Uh, but you have to have that language first, Jamie. You can't okay. just start yelling at your dog yeah. if she doesn't know what to do. So you, um, teaching the dog some basic obedience commands. There, and I'll bet you within four miles of your house, there's a, an obedience cl- class going on right, right. where you can learn heel, sit, stay, down, come. So you need a little bit of a language with your dog. That, that, uh, that was going to be a, a thing. It's like w- training, right? When, you, when, you do, when you're doing dog training, mm-hmm. who are you really training? You're training the dog owner. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dog's ready to learn, yeah. but you got to teach... The uh, dog owner how to communicate yeah. to to the dog. So you're more of a translator, uh, uh, yeah, and a linguist. Yeah. linguist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and you know, in fact, people there are a lot of people who uh, never you're very cutting at that as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Jamie. <laughs> I am a cunning linguist. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are weird. Oh. Can somebody explain it to me later? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh, so, it's that. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll just uh, figure it out myself. Yeah. Don't Google don't it. Don't Google that one either. <laughs> 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 but no, I really, I mean, training is is more over uh, teaching language and teaching uh, communication. Yes. Uh, and just being able to communicate well, you have to. You, you do. You have to have that premise set up. Yeah. So everybody, everybody's on the same page. And then if you're not the only person in the household, right? I mean, because you're saying sit and you're saying lay down and you're somebody, somebody saying bed. Yeah. And, and they all, everybody wants the dog to be in her bed, but they're all giving her these different commands. That dog's like, ah, screw it, I'm just gonna go pee in the hall. Yeah. So I'm taking th- option number four. Uh, <laughs> right. Okay. You're, you're right. So uh, think of it as learning, you know, learning a uh, foreign language. Yeah. You know, sure. if. If if four different people were teaching you and they had different words that represented the same thing, it'd be very very confusing to learn the language, right? <laughs> you have to be a linguist. I'm still very cunning. A very cunning, cunning. <laughs> linguist. <laughs> we're twelve. I don't know if twelve year olds would know that. <laughs> Today's twelve year olds, they just may. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I had no idea where we're gonna go there today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting my own podcast. <laughs> it's time for the bad animal That's joke really of idea. the week. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get our bad animal joke of the week. It's a story problem. Oh, Not yay. really, but there's. <laughs> All right, a husband and wife go to a restaurant, and the waiter approaches the table to take their order. And the the husband says, "I'll have your biggest, juiciest steak." And then the sir says, but sir, well, what about the mad cow? And he says, oh, she'll order for herself. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. It's not supposed to be. <laughs> I know, but it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's mean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. That's okay. I'm comfortable with it. You said you had a joke, Samantha. Oh, yeah. No, it's just... Uh, <laughs> Two birds were sitting on us. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You yeah, got it. Okay, so two birds were sitting on a branch, uh-huh. and one looks at the other and says, Wow, today really flew by. <laughs> hey, Sam. That's awesome. What do you call a dead fly? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> 
A flu? Jeff Goldblum. A flu? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. Well done, wow, Dan. there's a reference. That's a digging deep on yeah. that one. <laughs> I like that. I mean, he's not dead, but, you know, yeah. the fly. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, when's the new Halloween movie come out? Yeah, this Friday. Or tomorrow. Jamie sorry. Lee Curtis. Again. Again. Oh. She's a badass. I'm sorry. She's no, cool. she is. She's cursed. <laughs> She's my spirit animal. Yeah. You know how she got that start, though, that scream? That's what that's what did it for. Yeah. 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 All right. So, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, there was a joke here about candy corn, but it's not funny. It's just no, do it, do it, do it. No, it's just Lewis Black being angry that <laughs> all candy corn was made in 1911. <laughs> Nothing's been produced since. That's a very sad. Candy. Yeah. Why do people think that candy corn tastes bad? Like, do, do you guys like candy corn? Because I do. I nibble it. I eat the first the little white tip, and then I flip it over, and I eat the the yellow bottom, if and you, then I, and then I eat the orange middle. They don't. You, they all taste the same, don't they? No, no, you gotta do that. You gotta uh, eat the little tip off. But not not of all, just one it, at a time. Eat it that way. Eat it that way. <laughs> a couple of them. <laughs> but if you stack the candy corn, like according to it, it actually turns into a corn on the cob. You ever seen that? No. Yeah, you stack them up with according to it. Yeah. Why like do they a, call it candy corn? I don't know. Because they look like kernels of corn. Yeah. No, they don't. Kernels of corn are. If you stack them like... up. They do. Oh, if you turn it the other way. Yeah. What other way? Yeah. What other way is there to turn it? Because I do the Skinny pointy side. way up. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So animaltalkradio.com uh, is the website. There's a Patreon floating out there, too. Uh, if anybody wanted to give us throw money. some money at it, it would be great. I don't know who would uh, give money. And then, I don't know. But, uh, but more importantly, wherever you listen to fine podcasts, um, and then this one. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? Subscribe and like. Well, they listen to fine podcasts, and then this one. Oh, <laughs> so uh, like, subscribe, make a comment. It, that's like it, it's uh, extraordinarily helpful. Uh, yeah, I don't know. he put it in a different bucket than the fine podcast. Yeah. Oh, because we're, we're n- not a podcast. No. Well, we are, but we're separate. <laughs> we're not a fine podcast. Yeah. It's not very cunning. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right, but yes, Animal Talk Radio, all the socials, Animal Talk Radio, Facebook. Uh, videos up on, on the Facebook. Uh, I've been negligent and copy them over to YouTube, but they're on Facebook, so you can see them there. Yeah. And uh, follow Sam as, as she makes her journey. Did uh, How's your uh, uh, GoFundMe going, Sam? That's good. Uh, yeah? Yeah, I got over 500. So hey, cool. all right. Woo. Making your way there. Yeah. Creeping your way towards success. Yes. Oh, I still got to I still gotta donate some money. <laughs> don't give me any money. It's fine. You don't Did have you to you have to pay for money. parking today? No. Okay, good. Uh, I never paid. I paid the first time. Yeah, yeah. After that. Now no. you just say, I'm with the band. Yeah. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm working. And they're like, oh, you know the drill. I'm like, uh, hell yeah. I in do. the back. <laughs> parking <laughs> in the back for free. Yeah. There was no spots back there. There was one left. Oh. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got there and there were two. You must have the one after me. Yeah. I parked by the trash can. <laughs> All right, that'll do it. Um, I, I got Matt. Do you got anything else? I know I, I, I've laughed my butt off. Thank okay. you for that. Appreciate right. it. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Brian. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'm done, but I think I better stop. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Have an exotic week. Kiss your wild thing for me. <laughs> <laughs>